This is Todd at Odin's Wolf Survival. Uko, company which makes some of the matches I like. There's some really nice Oshite matches. They work really well. I've had no issues with any of their products. Well, they come out with a lantern, a little light. It was only 100 lumens, LED. I thought, all right, about 14 bucks, I think. We come in, I immediately right out of the gate. This is actually kind of cool. Somebody was thinking when they designed their packaging. The other thing is, which is okay, but I don't really like AAA batteries. A friend of mine says they're of the devil. I'm kind of agreeing with him a lot of times. I Hopefully I have some. If not, we'll have to do a little later clip after I get some better ones. I need to get some more rechargeable ones because I've got solar and I can recharge stuff like this if something goes bad. Batteries suck. But this is what it is. They take three AAA batteries. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Pop this open. There we go. That really is kind of a cool idea for their tie down. Oh, magnet even. That's even better. That's really kind of cool. Pretty strong magnet too. Not too bad. That should hang it without any problem. Okay, we'll see what we got. It's called the Sprout Hangout Lantern. Instructions. Requires three AAA batteries, of which I have, although I'm not sure if they're any good. We'll find out very shortly. Pop them in. Shows the direction. As I suspected, the batteries are not any good. That's all right, I'll get new ones. Hang from a branch, 100 lumens in a, in a tent would be great. 100 lumens doesn't sound like much, but when you have zero lumens, 100 lumens is quite a lot. Okay, we have the Uko Sprout light. It's a small little camp light that's battery powered. It's powered by three AAA batteries. Finally did get those batteries. I put rechargeables in there as I tend to like the rechargeables because I can charge them off of a carry along battery bank, solar cells, anything along that line. If you're, if you're out in a vehicle, you can charge it with that. Makes it handy. This little light, it'll run 10, degree, or 10 lumens on low and 100 lumens on high and it's variable in between. And it's got what they call a blue moonlight setting, which is kind of a cool little blue light. But one click, you get the low, that's 10 lumens, and it will run 50 hours at that. And then you can click it again and hold it. And you can adjust it anywhere between the 10 lumens and the 100 lumens. And that's a six hour chart run, run time on a fresh set of batteries. Or if you click it twice quick, you get the blue light. And that's not variable as you can see. Click it again to turn it off. The little lanyard's magnetic, which is kind of cool. So you can hang it up in your tent or something if you need to pop it off real quick. If you got it hung up pretty good, you can pop it off, take it out, walk around, do your business, whatever at night. It's water resistant up to a splash rating, which is what the ISP4 I think is what it is. Splash rating, which means don't take it swimming. Don't leave it out in the rain. Trust me with some other stuff that I've seen that is rated like that, water kills them fast. Although with this, it shouldn't so bad because you could replace the batteries just so long as it, you get it dried out, I guess. I haven't tried it. I'm not going to. These are available on Amazon for $15. $14.99, I think is what it is. Not a bad little light. Smash the subscribe button such as you would you'll feel some foe.